Top Sarper one way for you. Today got this one right here. The US Army tried to recruit gamers and it was a disaster. Let's wreck it. The US Army has a problem. Not enough people want to join the US military. Yep. According to The Economist, the Army has missed its recruiting goals by almost one third as of last year. Usually Damn. when the economy is doing badly and people don't have any more options, they tend to turn to the Army and recruitment goes up. But the US Army has had its worst year of recruitment since the removal of the mandatory draft in 1973. Where is the Army turning to get its new recruits? Gaming. Today we're going to talk about the Army's attempts to get gamers into a real war, their shady practices to recruit these young kids, and how it's gone- Yep, I've heard about some stories, man. It was disgusting. Hilariously bad. Before we begin today's video, I want to share some really exciting news. Uh, when I started League of Documentary about a year and a half ago, I was told constantly by people that, you know, gamers have no attention spans and there's no way that they would want to sit through a bunch of documentaries uh, about gaming. No, and we now do. League of Documentary is arguably one of the most popular series in the entire League community. Yep. So thank you guys so much for your support. And it's thank I'm glad this uh, took over because I, I, I just hate uh, watching those League highlight videos who were like the prominent force, like the, the big content creators always did leak highlight videos and, uh, and those uh, kind of niche documentary videos were kind of rising and uh, I'm glad that this took over. Thanks to your guys' That's support insane. that I am now the first League of Legends content creator to receive a brilliant sponsorship. Brilliant Damn. Is an awesome website and I love like, That's a high quality sponsor. To death. They're basically a STEM learning program. If you want to learn about science, technology, engineering and math, then Brilliant is perfect for you to help you along that journey. Brilliant provides interactive courses that helps you with the introductory ideas and even difficult ideas of STEM. Whether you're just starting algebra or learning about human biology, Brilliant has fun interactive courses that keep you engaged and entertained while you're learning. I know all of my viewers are 200 IQ, Korean super server, Chinese yellow <laughs> boosters, so Brilliant is Sadly perfect not. for you guys. You guys will just smash through that thing. To try everything that Brilliant has to offer free for a full 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash or click Those on the link them. in the description. The first 200 people to sign up will get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription service. But first, let's talk about why the army would want gamers of all people. I'm a gamer, and to be honest, most gamers wouldn't really make good army recruits. I mean, why would you want someone like me who's just looking to do things exactly as easy and quickly as possible? Twitch viewers would probably sabotage the military just for some Twitter impressions. That doesn't sound like a very promising soldier for the US military. Okay. Gamers complain all the time that it takes their characters a long time to be able to run in game. You think they want to be able to run in real life? The reason that the military is in such bad shape right now is because the people that have historically wanted to join the military are no longer eligible to do so. According to a study by the Pentagon, only 23% of Americans are now eligible to serve. Whether it's for what? health reasons or poor grades, the pool of eligible candidates to be able to be in the US military- It's like age factor. I think it's for, uh, just for pretty young people. It's not very big to begin with. Like they don't uh, want to have any 40 year olds, I think. Biggest problem is the people themselves. They are literally too fat to serve. Nationally, nearly 42% of all Americans are obese as of 2022. A sad fact, This man. is due to a variety of social and economical factors, but the biggest one right now is the fact that cheap and easy to access sugary, low quality foods are abundant in America. People who tend to join the military are people who don't have a lot of options in their life. It's insane. Like back in the day, I just thought of it of a cliche, something pretty unrealistic that everyone is like it. But uh, it seems like most of them are like ten. They tend to be really poor. The military knows That's this, it. which is why they've always targeted low income and minority schools. You would think that families without a lot of money would tend to be very thin and eligible for the army because, well, they don't have a lot of money to buy food. But that's not true at all. Poor nope. Americans actually tend to be some of the fattest Americans. In America, unhealthy processed foods tend to be a lot cheaper when it comes to filling you up by calories. This is because the US government subsidizes things like corn. Yeah, I've heard about stories uh, when like, uh, I've heard about those indigenous group, uh, groups who uh, received help from the, like um, some American companies so they could survive better or some shit, uh, I don't know. But uh, at the end, they just got like fast food and um, an entire indigenous group uh, got pretty, pretty fat. It was insane, man. 
corn, soybeans, dairy, and meat. This processed is corn is in just about every single processed food you buy. It's a really good substantive for sugar, which is why it drives the price down so much. As a Canadian who's lived in America, I was shocked when I first saw the prices of meat in America and how ridiculously cheap it is to stay big. This is a website that calculates the most efficient way to stay fed in America. Here it is sorted by calories per dollar. Aside from the obviously cheap grain options like flour, rice, and oats, if you look at the cheapest options for pure calories, most of them are junk foods like Cheez-Its, chocolate frostings, Pop-Tarts, and Hershey's Kisses. Sugar is so ridiculously cheap in America that it's almost free, and it is the easiest way to get fat. Americans aren't fat by accident, it's a system that makes it easier and more economically efficient to be fat. Guess what group of Americans have the lowest rates of obesity? That would be rich ones. But if you're from a mm -hmm. rich family, you don't need to go to the military. You can get a good job or university or whatever you want. You don't even have to work. Parents can afford to send you to school without having to worry about you getting shot in Afghanistan. You'll be going to a regular university where you're only going to worry about getting shot by one of your other fellow classmates. But there are... Damn, that statistic. Holy shit. There are actually people that want to be in the military. Kids of military families tend to be the ones that are most likely to want to serve in the military. You follow in your father's footsteps. But the army pays people so little that most veterans struggle financially. America talks a big game about how important their veterans are, whether it's bringing them out into basketball courts or... Yeah, and at the end, at the end they, don't just, they don't give a shit about them. This is, this is pretty sad. Like, I, I'm not patriotic towards Americans, I, I'm not a big fan of America, but those people who fought in uh, Vietnam and shit, in Afghanistan, and, and they came back, and they, they, are, they are, like, pretty traumatized, uh, that, that's pretty bad, and they definitely deserved some help, or at least uh, a good amount of money so they can live the rest of their life, like, peacefully, without any problems, at least, but they don't even get that shit, like, uh, I feel bad for them that they're heroes, support the troops, etc, etc, but the one thing they don't seem to be supporting them on is a fair wage. The median income of a full working time veteran is about the same as a McDonald's manager. Veterans the between hell? the ages of 18 and 30 are twice Bro, as likely as... they're they just working some normal ass job and those dudes are just uh, like risking their lives every day. <laughs> With some booby trap. Adults in the general population to be homeless. So, the only people who want to be in the military are kids that come from poor economical situations that don't have good enough nutrition to be able to actually qualify in the military. Gamers, on the other hand, are somehow much more healthier compared to normal people. A study done by the okay. Queensland University of Toronto found that 21% of gamers are actually in better shape than the general population. There's not really Damn. a study done on why gamers are healthier, but my personal... Yeah. I play a shit ton every day, like in multiple hours, but I still stay fit because that's important. Personal theory is that gamers are too busy gaming and Recommendable. not eating, basically. You can't really get obese if you're gaming instead of eating. I mean, look at the pro players we have. Stick thin. Yep. These guys are bro, millionaires. They are, and they they're malnourished. It's insane. They, they need to at least eat something, man. They look like they're Jesus about to Christ. starve to death. Speaking from personal experience, there's also a pretty big segment of people in the gaming community that are just outcasts. They don't feel like they belong in regular society. They don't have a community to say that they're a part of, and the military has tried to feel welcoming. They're trying to feel like a place that you want to belong in. Remember those hard-ass drill sergeants that would yell at you in your face if you were breathing out of regulation? Well, that's gone. This what? is the new 2020 model of army training. We're going to win everything right, the whole cycle. <clears throat> you still stay humble, all right? Sergeants aren't cussing at soldiers anymore. So if you got to use that language to get somebody to do something, you are not relevant in our army anymore. According to a Gallup poll, veterans of all... Bro, bro, bro. There was a purpose behind that. It's to uh, mentally prepare them. And uh, this hand-holding shit is... I, I hate this in video games. It's like uh, being like those uh, nice, nice tutorial guys who teach you every single step to victory this is a completely wrong direction you're going in ages what tend to lean towards republican and you know what makes republicans more pissed off than anything else wokeness yep honestly i'm not even sure what the hell that word even means anymore because Same. it's been so over politicized and overused that i i don't even know what the fuck it counts as woke yeah i know that many from the south like uh someone of a 
the USA are like uh, Republicans, I think. But I'm pretty sure that this definitely counts as woke. It begins in California. Oh! With a little girl raised by two moms. Although I had a fairly typical childhood, I also marched for equality. I like to think I've been defending freedom from an early age. And then attended UC Davis, where I joined a sorority full of other strong Okay, women. you can ha have your opinion about shit and stuff, but, but this is not stuff which belongs to the army. But those are people who are going to fight in wars and they are going to probably to... They're probably dying in those wars or, or, or come back pretty, pretty messed up. But sure. this whole uh, different group you don't want to have uh, involved in in war, I think. I'd spent my life around inspiring women, but what had I really achieved on my own? I needed my own adventures, my own challenge. And after meeting with an army recruiter, I found it. A way to prove my inner strength and maybe shatter some stereotypes along the way. I'm U.S. Army Corporal Emma Malone Lord. And I answered my calling. An anime about a woman and an LGBTQ couple. Yeah, and re Republicans. Your, your prime audience. Hate that shit. You, you need to, to think a bit. Come on. Joining the military. Now, personally, I don't really give a shit about any of this. I'm saying. <laughs> but Republicans definitely did. Yes. Because after this recruitment series came out to try and appeal to the newer generations, Republicans shit. Oh, this History Legends video was great, man. I, I love this dude. He he He's one of the best ones out there. All over the army. So why does it matter if there's two moms, one mom only, one dad only, two regular, two heterosexual parents that have a child? I don't think it matters in a recruiting tool. Trying to understand yeah. how the tax it, it shouldn't matter. Your dollars are being used for this because this thing's been hammered pretty hard. My favorite comment from this whole thing was the American army is pretty effective on making me want to join the Russian army. So basically. Okay. The U.S. Army tried to appeal to a younger, more socially conscious generation, doesn't work, and in trying to do so, they alienate many of their most core supporters and has a video series that has a 97% dislike ratio. Damn. The U.S. Army spent taxpayer dollars trying to beat the YouTube Rewind for the most disliked video in the world. <laughs> it was that bad. <laughs> oh, that's hot. That's hot. What Damn, else? I, I kind of want to get a new a YouTube rewind back. Like, even though it is going to be pretty horrible, I think just for the fun of it, it would be worth it. Their amazing budget on? Well, the U.S. Army and Navy both have esports teams now, and they what? both have high-end setups, green screens, and this fucking oh. cyberpunk-level gaming truck that people can come in and play video games on. Yep. The purpose is pretty simple. Get kids to develop parasocial relationships with the streamers so that they want to become like them and want to become joining the military. It was pretty obvious to anyone who had eyes and half a brain. But being the US military, lying is a part of their identity. And for whatever reason, even though everybody knew that they were recruiting, they decided to say, we do not actively recruit on Twitch, but that if a viewer is over 17 years of age, then the recruiter will thank them for their interest and refer them to Navy.com where they can talk to a recruiter. According to Vice.com, a handbook streaming guide made by the Navy stated that everything done on social media... The thing media is, why are we lying about that? ...should be aimed at We're sure that uh, we're surely gonna backfire. But that's something we need to keep in mind. ...connections with prospects and recruiters. One of the scummiest things they did during this period was advertise a giveaway for a free Xbox Elite controller, but when you went to the giveaway link, instead of an actual giveaway, it directed you to the Army's recruitment page. And what? it's not like gamers are not aware of what the US Army is trying to do. They're very aware of the fact that they're being targeted. So Twitch viewers do exactly what they were born to do. They trolled the shit out of them. When the Army and Navy went live on Twitch, viewers of theirs would ask, Fun questions like, what's your favorite war crime? And I see you guys have upgraded from recruiting out of low-income schools. Nice. Oh, and of course, since the Army and Navy get a lot of older people to stream, they often don't know what kind of fun usernames people can have now. Like that. Yo, Hyper Eagle. Hello, how you doing? Parkour challenge. Whether or not it's actually cool, it might just be... Yo, six million wasn't enough. Thank you so much for the follow. Appreciate but you. 
Since their awful esports launch, the army Man. has retreated from Twitch because gamers are apparently harder to deal with than terrorists. According to Twitch Tracker, the US Army channel has streamed about once per year since June of 2021. And while America's Navy is still streaming regularly on Twitch, according to the tracker, their average viewership per stream was two, which would just be the guy Man. streaming opening his stream and the superior officer watching his stream to make sure that he was actually streaming. Despite how badly everything is gone for the military, they're still expected to continue with this outreach throughout the gaming community. Like I said at the start, this there's is not a lot of this people is... in America that are actually eligible for recruitment anymore. The military actually lowered their standards because in these last few years, fatter kids had to be able to join the military because they didn't have enough people to actually join. So whatever it is the military can do to try and get people into the army, they will try. But here's the thing, instead of spending money on esports equipment, cyber trucks, and pathetic attempts to appeal to a generation that will never think that you're socially conscious through anime, why don't you spend a little bit of that money on raising the war conditions of the soldiers that you already have? Maybe. Pay them six figures for going to war instead of Mickey D's workers wage and give them proper PTSD and post combat care. Instead of allowing so many of your veterans to become homeless, give them proper mental health therapy after they come home. Instead of treating every single recruit as another expendable number on a spreadsheet, treat them like human beings and I bet you those recruitment numbers will go up real fucking quick. My name's Don Wop. Thanks for watching. Damn. What a dramatic story. <laughs> but this was pretty bad. Like, holy shit. Not video as was obviously well made and subscribe to Don Wop. He does good, uh, most of the time, leak documentaries like this one. Don't play safe, man. The number one as he goes to his limits, like, he reviews, like, some of those uh, top tier gamers in the leak scenes. And yeah, that was it. Like, I would really appreciate your support as well. Like, wouldn't mind a comment, like, and sub. And guys, that's it. I guess see you next time. Wafer out.